morning, you guys. Welcome to a new vlog. It's currently Monday, January 23rd. I thought we'd kick off the week vlogging and just have a little catch up chat while I am folding some laundry and putting this away. Fun fact, my worst habit. <laughs> if you've watched the channel for a really long time, then you know um, back from when I lived with Adrian and my room was just disgusting all the time. Just like had clothes everywhere. The worst habit is that I throw my clothes all over the floor. I, like I leave a trail and I just don't pick it up for like weeks at a time. So today we are doing just that. <laughs> Making this a clean space. I'm hoping it's going to just help with my anxiety, which I truly am sorry for anyone who like doesn't want to hear about this. I almost feel like I shouldn't be vlogging about like as much because this is just like what's been going on and I don't want people to be tired of hearing about it. This is what's been going on. I want to be open. So where we left off in my last video was it was my birthday dinner with my friend. So that was on Friday. I went against my better judgment and I did decide to drink. It's like so windy out. My camera motion settings are going off like constantly around my house. Is this turning? I'm so confused. I've had my clean clothes up here for like a week and have not put them away. And I think I've accidentally like thrown some dirty things. So don't mind me sniffing everything. So after the fact, so yesterday and the day before, Saturday and Sunday, my anxiety has been at an all-time high. Saturday, we did, had just like a complete lazy day. We've been watching season five of The Circle, which I was a big fan of season one and then tried watching season two and it was just not it for me. So we have just been binging that all weekend. All the while, I have been heart racing. As you may know, I've been like getting so back on top of my workout game in an effort to like help with this. And maybe, I mean, I think it has, but I definitely don't think at this point that just that is going to be able to like fix what I have going on as soon as I go downstairs I am making an appointment with my psychiatrist so on that note this is where I was going with that is I've been putting in like so much effort and work into like working out a lot which like yes was for my mental health but since that doesn't seem to be like making the biggest difference in a vain way it's like I do kind of want that to make a physical difference as well which I've been like very neutral about body image and that I've like definitely gained some weight between traveling all summer and like living my best life then but also like coming back to like all my knee problems and being in physical therapy and, and like further being able to not work out while also not getting in all the steps I was getting in all summer and then going into the holidays where I was definitely like indulging so I've like gained some weight and I've been like neutral about it because I've known that like I've just accepted like this is what it is like I know I'm not doing everything I can to like you know be in my fittest shape right now like I haven't been working out so I accepted it and I've been neutral however now that I'm actually putting in the work I did think I would see at least like somewhat of a change and I know like from the past that like once I start working out like I do see pretty quick changes like I have in the past and that has just not been the case at all this time around which then like makes me further frustrated I know my body is producing or releasing I don't know so much cortisol you know the stress hormone like it has been flowing through the veins and I know that that can like cause weight gain or like prevent you from like really I don't know you know what I'm saying just transparently that's just been on my mind and it's been frustrating hopefully something can come out of my call today or whenever I'm able to schedule that with my psychiatrist long talking little intro clip but I just wanted to give some updates welcome to the video <laughs> better than last night's where Giselle and I got followed. Last night? Yeah. I'll tell you about it when we get home. All right, so basically so far this morning, I've just been catching up on emails, computer work. I've been feeling so on top of filming vlogs to keep up with my 100 vlogs in 2023 challenge. Something that I've, I've talked about, it's been a while, but that I've gone back and forth on for a while is like the idea of an editor. I've actually had um, a girl, Amanda, who is phenomenal, <laughs> edits amazingly and has edited a few of my vlogs here and there. She edited a couple, I think it was like my Positano vlogs back when I was traveling because I just like could not get caught up on those or maybe more than that. Yeah, she did actually several of those. I think what would be beneficial to me because I'm realizing that it feels like I've been on top of filming vlogs, but I feel like I've been like kind of neglecting my main channel these past few weeks, even though I have like ideas. I think what I am going to try doing is entrusting Amanda with hopefully all of my vlogs. I just get so, this is a me problem that other YouTubers apparently just don't have, but when I know that the footage is going straight to someone else that's like not me, I just feel like I don't 
talk normally to the camera or like I don't feel just like completely comfortable and like I don't know I don't overthink things when I know that I'm gonna be the first person seeing the footage because I can re-say things a hundred times and don't have to worry about if like something comes out like poorly or whatever as well as like for these vlogs so far this year I've been getting like I import all the footage and it's like an hour so I'm having to use my discretion and like cutting out parts that I don't want to include and just like trimming those down and so it's a lot to feel like I'm like handing over that to someone else to make decisions the same way I would so I guess what I'm saying is I'm just gonna try out like having all my videos go to Amanda to edit if for a little bit it may seem like I'm I don't know a little more not filtered that's not the right word but just like if I seem any different I'm just gonna need a second to get used to knowing that like this footage is going like straight to someone else I guess that's all I'm trying to say anyways I've got my multiple beverages for the time being I'm gonna keep doing some computer work. I also just updated my budget up to this point for the month of January, which my goodness, has that been insightful? This is the first month in forever that I've been keeping like a tight budget. But last thing I was gonna say is just that really quickly because it's not like groundbreaking but it was alarming. Yesterday, Giselle and I were on a walk and it wasn't lunch, it was like towards the evening. Um, not like quite getting dark, but it was like evening-ish. And just like a wholesome little Sunday in the neighborhood, family's out, this and that, but we were walking, just like weaving around like a different street, like a bunch of different streets. It's not like we were just walking down like one long road or anything. So we're taking a convoluted route. And at one point we noticed this guy like walking towards us and we were kind of like, okay, he's like looking kind of sketchy. It was just like, I think he was white, like in like a full, like all black fit with his hands in his pockets and like his hoodie up, like, you know, just not looking like the wholesome neighborhood vibe necessarily. And he was like by himself, like not with a dog or anything. And was just like really like hood up, like just looking sketch. And so we're like walking towards the same way, like on the same road, but then there's another road that we could like turn onto. So we're like, let's turn onto this road and like go away from the dude. So we like turn and we're like looking back and he's like following us and he's a good, probably like hundred yards, hundred feet, I don't know, behind us, like a good amount of distance behind us. It was to the point where we like, we're back to the house, but we're like, I'm not showing this dude like where we live, you know, he's like looking super sketchy and has still been following us. So we like pass the house and go like take another like pretty obscure turn. And we're like walking, walking and we like look back and he's following us still. And so we do that a couple more times and we're like, this is past the point of coincidence. Like there is no earthly way that this man just happens to be taking the same route. Like he's hundred percent following us. So we keep going like a very long way to go into a business, like a public, place, you know? I'm kind of like getting nervous. I have like 911 put in my phone just in case I like need to dial it. And am I a paranoid person to start with? Yes. So is there the chance that maybe this was not weird? Yes. However, Giselle, who was always the opposite, never paranoid, like whatever, she even agreed. She was like, yeah, that was like definitely he was following us. Like something was up with that. So we go in this business and we're like, should we tell the person when we walk in that like we think we're being followed by this guy and like if he comes in to like call the police, <laughs> which we didn't end up doing. I don't know if we should have, but we like went in the business and like as we were going in the business, he like couldn't see the guy that was following us was still on like the main road. So he couldn't really see. We could have basically taken, turned down a street or we could have gone into this business because it was on a corner. Looked back, he was still following us. So we like ran into the store and like got out of view from like where you could see us. Like if you're walking by the store. So he did not go into the store. We like couldn't see him. So I think he probably passed it and maybe like turn onto another street thinking that's where we went. Or maybe this was just like harmless and he went on his little walk by himself on his weirdly coincidental route. But yeah, we were just like hiding in the aisles so that he couldn't see us. So anyway. Welcome to the evening. Giselle and I are making dinner. We're making little Mediterranean bowls tonight, which we normally make is like a pita sandwich type vibe. We're making it salad style today with some romaine and quinoa because we did not have pitas. My friend Michelle just came over and brought us, it was so cute. It was just Lunar New Year yesterday and so uh, Giselle's old roommate Michelle just brought us over. I guess it's, can you explain it? I don't know, really know. It's um, for good luck and new money for the year. And then a scratch off fortune card. And so mine said, a pleasant surprise is in store for you. That was a fun little surprise. It was nice to just have like a friend pop in for a minute. Tonight after we eat, I think we're gonna watch the, or probably while we eat, we're gonna watch the circle finale. And I'm just sipping on my little grape Olipop that Giselle got me. She surprised me with three flavors today because I love them. We're gonna cook. Dinner is served. Here's what it's looking like. The quinoa on the salad is buried. 
It looks like I have so much tzatziki, which I kind of do, but it's also just spread out, poured on top of everything. And we're about to watch The Circle. I'm not sure if this is the finale. There's so many episodes in season five, I feel like. Who are your favorites? We have conflicting opinions on the people. I really like Raven, Sam, and Chaz. I'm scared to say who I like. No, say who you like. I like um, Sam, Tom, and Jennifer. <laughs> Don't hate me! <laughs> okay, at least you don't like Marvin. Good morning! I kind of forgot that I was vlogging today because I just got up on a mission this morning because I realized you guys know I've been so out of it this month and completely forgot that I like had Fabletics content for the month that's supposed to be done at the beginning of the month. It's literally like the end of the month. That is my bad. I woke up on a mission to get ready, get that shot, get that sent in, which I still just have to send it in. So that's why I'm already ready because I took the pictures and get that done before I go to a rumble class here in a little bit. I have a bunch of emails and stuff I want to catch up on. I'm kind of needing to get most things done like in the morning, half of the day. Tonight, some friends are coming over and randomly, I bought a birthday cake and I just wanna like get all cute and like wear a cute outfit and like get some cute birthday pics to post tomorrow, just like at home. like And tomorrow, which is my birthday, I'm uh, not really gonna be doing anything work-wise either. So we're gonna hope this is a good productive day. It has been good that I feel like my mind has been focused. I was originally thinking I was gonna vlog on my birthday tomorrow, but as we've gotten closer, I feel like I've been, you know, okay, sorry. Giselle is taking a day off work tomorrow, and I know his planned a full day of surprises. I just kind of want to be present with her and, you know, just make the day about some quality time. I just want, you know, Giselle to know I appreciate her taking the time off work and like planning all these fun things that I'm sure I'm gonna love and I just wanna be present in that. So I think it'll make the most sense for to have all the birthday stuff and like this one vlog. At the end of this video, I will round it out with a little montage of like some light clips from tomorrow, but like not full vlogging. I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and we're gonna hit the ground running today. I'm over here like about to cry. <laughs> I just sent an email to my girl at Fabletics that has like managed our partnership and like been my main contact for the past however many years now. And so I sent her an email cause she'd emailed me a few days ago checking in about the January content. And I just replied and I was like, I'm so sorry for the delay. I've been dealing with a lot of extreme anxiety. It's finally feeling a bit manageable today. So I just thought this and we'll send it all over ASAP. And I was like, I'm so sorry for the delay. And she sent the sweetest reply. Hi Morgan, don't apologize. Please take as much time as you need to complete your content. Anxiety is the worst thing ever. And I know exactly how you feel. Please know that it'll get better. And I'm thinking of you, 2023 20, is going to be the best year yet. And then a heart. Why am I about to cry? Just a fun fact. <laughs> and I'm sure this like varies from like brand to brand, person to person. But in my experience, like working with brands, you know, like you have brand deadlines, this and that, whatever. And sometimes like life comes up, you know, like I have had COVID <laughs> perfectly timed for like two days where I had like a video due to the same brand both times. And just like other little things in life where like legit things come up and like it's just not happening that like I can... You know, like this is the the job, the product. Like I gotta be feeling okay to like film and like edit and whatever and turn everything in. And I have had some of the least understanding experiences with brands and like very legit excuses for like why I could not complete something. It has just sucked feeling like if I take this sick day, I don't get paid. What I'm trying to say is, you know, obviously with being a creator and whatever, we have so much control over our schedules, over what we take on. And it's definitely, I think, obvious more flexible than like a traditional job. And I am so grateful for that. It's on those rare days where something comes up and I'm like, what I would do to call in a sick day and like still know I'm getting paid, you know? <laughs> I'm just so thankful to Fabletics because they always are like this. Like my contact there is just like the sweetest has always been so flexible, so understanding when like the things in life come up. And unfortunately, I found that that is like the exception, not the norm. So there are just so many reasons I love working with them. And if anyone out there, may, you know, maybe you've been following me for four and a half years and you've been seeing me post about them every single month and maybe you're over it, I don't know. <laughs> but there are just so many reasons that I just value value this partnership in particular and like why I've kept it going for so long. I don't know. I just thought I would share that because it touched my heart on this little day. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm gonna eat finally. I just got a package from Caseify. I got a new phone a week ago 
and or a couple weeks ago and i have been risking it all with no case on this. I'm excited to see what I got. Get out of here. This is the one I asked for, because I was thinking like neutral. This says Morgan on it, I'm pretty sure. It does, oh my gosh. Am my rumble class? <laughs> As promised. <laughs> I am gonna cry. <laughs> she got me, we've been talking about, I've never really experimented with this, but one of our non-alcoholic things we got lately, recently had hemp in it, like supposed to help calm me down. And so we were like, I should get more, or I should try for the first time, like CBD beverages. And so she, I just walked in the door and this was all set up with so many, which I know is a million dollars. That's so sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I wanna look at them all. Yeah, look at them all. <laughs> We just did my little B-Day picture that I wanted. Now we're gonna eat some cake. So I was taking photos, like I literally changed out of my cute fit, but I trust these won't be going anywhere. I don't know how to cut. Is this a video? Mm-hmm. Mmm. That was good. So for the rest of the night, two of our friends, Mariah and Jasmine, are coming over and we are going to watch, I believe, the L Word finale. Giselle has gotten like about 17 popcorn options, so I think we're gonna be set. <laughs> Breakfast date. Oh nice. shoot, I'm behind. That's my bad. Okay. Enjoyed a delicious shaken iced coffee with our legendary avocado to toast. <laughs> 10 a.m. Morning hike. What better way to start your 28th year than with some movement? We'll take the famous Runyon Canyon hike. <laughs> of course, we'll stay on the asphalt. My girl can't get dirty. Because <laughs> I literally hate walking on the unpaved trail 12 p.m light lunch maybe we'll be hungry maybe not either way we are stopping at jones on third for a blt this is so cute 2 30 p.m relax at the now with a 50 minute massage with deep tissue and a scalp renewal while you're enjoying that i will be doing a secret birthday mission why do i feel like i'm in the circle 4 p.m. refresh. After your massage, I'll pick you up and bring you home for a few cute surprises. Then you and I will get ready for an amazing birthday dinner date. I hear you have a hot date. <laughs> 6 or 6.30, because Giselle gave me two options. Birthday dinner date. Depending on what you choose, our classic moza, that's what we're doing, or something new at Republic, I get to treat you to a beautiful dinner and tell you how much I love you and I'm thankful for you. <laughs> I love you! This is so cute! But I really want you to open it. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll open it speedy. Very festive winter penguin, a penguin bag. Oh, nice! Anyway. <laughs> Ooh! <gasps> no way! really hard to buy for Morgan and I tried to get you the base weekender bag but Giselle said you already got it and I tried to get you other things on your list and she said you already got them all so then I was like you know what she said she loves nice coffee table books so I got one from somewhere that I'm pretty sure you fit okay I, I gotta go happy birthday I love you I'll call you later okay I love you I love this thank you I love you bye I love you bye Caroline is moving across the country today so making us you I've seen these. They were at some restaurant, this like, or hotel, this brand was like on a wall. And it's like photos of Mykonos. Mm -hmm. 